in Milwaukee. MLB the show as interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Chicago White Sox and the Milwaukee Brewers. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now, getting the nod on the mound, number 54. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Tommy Fan in the box now. No, no balls ball. and a strike. Right. The why to kick the pitch. Ball. And that one missing low. Two, Wouldn't one. chase that time. Today in Major League Baseball, we honor one of the greatest players in the history of the game, Lou Gehrig. It started in 2021, and today throughout Major League Baseball, we raise awareness for ALS, the disease that claimed the life of the great iron horse, Lou Gehrig. The wind of the pitch. Come on, and miss. Struck him out. Came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. When you think about the impact of Lou Gehrig on the world of sports, consider this. His number four was retired after... He passed from ALS. It is the first number ever to be retired in all of professional sports. So effectively, the reason we have retired numbers is due to the fact that Lou Gehrig passed from ALS. One down, base is empty. Drive. And another ball. Personally, Lou Gehrig Day means a ton to me. I lost a close friend to ALS in 2007, Tim Sheehy. And you're talking about a disease that is 100% fatal. And the average lifespan for people diagnosed with ALS is just between two and five years. That's out to center field. And yeah, there's two away. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line oh. drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating you just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. Ball, ball. Outside, now 2-0. and oh. One of the other important pieces as far as raising awareness for ALS is that it is necessary to raise money not just for research ball. but also for patient care. The average out-of-pocket cost for somebody with ALS is $250,000. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's, that's ball the ball. Four. Take your base. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up that blocks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Andrew. So, man aboard. Andrew Vaughn now. There's a strike. the pitch foul back our way and that's out of play oh and two now 
ball. That one just misses. 0 2 count. You got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. Two gone, but the go ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. That's to third. They get the force. And that is the inning. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left. And now the Brewers will get their first cuts. No score. Back here with my pal Singy. And on the mound in this one, Nick Nestrini. What's the scouting report on him? Well, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats, and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up, and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. Now the one. Oh, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. And the righty deals. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now it's Christian Yelich. Right down to shoot. Strike one. Nastrini, a 6-3 righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a slur, and he works in a two-seamer. The wind of the pitch. Ball one. One one. He swings and fouls one off. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Jokes going back on this one, and it's off the wall. Around second is Yelich. The relay, he is oh. safe. It's a triple. Just missed out on the homer. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the ball. Third with one gone. Willie Adamas stands in. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Yelich stands at third with one gone in the inning. High fly ball out to left field. And Ben Intendi able to make the grab. And that should get the job done as he tags from third. And they strike first as they take a 1 0 lead. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Cool. Gary Sanchez now. Gary Sanchez. That one's in there on one. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Fall off foul. Right-hander kicks deals. One, two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Kicks and deals. Well, two. well, you've got to establish the inside part of the plate early, and that sends a message not just to this hitter, but to the rest of the lineup as well. Two outs. And well, that's down and away. Bounce that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Right through there, got him. 
He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. So it's one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on. We move to the second in Milwaukee. It's the Brewers one and the White Sox nothing. here in Milwaukee. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Andrew Benintendi. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. Out towards right center field. Perkins makes the grab on the run. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. First pitch misses. And that's in for a strike. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boog. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two away down. Corey Jones steps to the plate for the White Sox. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Oh, no. The Brewers leading by a run here at the top of the second. Strike. Right through there for a strike. One ball, one strike. Close oh, one, no. doesn't get the call. Two balls and a strike. Comes yep. up empty, that's strike two. Two, two. And now the lefty battling here as he fouls it away two out spaces empty ball. and another ball okay. fouled off again and it remains three and two two down nobody on Swinging a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. And that one oh, off the inside edge. You walked him. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And the batter now, Danny Mendick. On the ground to third. Throw over to Bowers. And that is the inning. So one left for the White Sox. They're down one nothing. Bottom of the second. Here is the rookie third baseman, Joseph Ortiz. Mistrini back to work. Bounced up the middle. Lopez. In plenty of time to first. That's one out in the bottom of the second. That is good. The right field. Next for Milwaukee, Jackson Chorio. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One out, base is empty. That clips the zone, and it's one and one. Just no, missed. The ball. And a foul ball. Ball Just three. off the outside part of the plate. Oh, yeah. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Foul ball, he stays alive. 
eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he walked That's the ball. him. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. That is that one down the first at the play. Jake Junior. Bowers. Bowers. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field pretty well struck. Bounces off the wall as he makes a great grab. Man, boy, that love watching an outfielder take on the wall to make that, that play. And it's a lot easier to watch from up here because that can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold on to it after contact. Blake Perkins stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Oh, no. There's the ball. Throw to second. Ball. Out strike. there. And that ends the inning. Well, try to get into scoring position. But a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Top half of the Maybe third go, inning. Go. Now it's the White Sox the catcher, catcher. Martin, Martin Maldonado. Maldonado. The pitch. Ball. That's a little bit low. Oh, and that's no. a pitch early in this game. He needs to call for a strike. Struggling with command no. issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. And he deals. That no. one misses. And it's 3 0. Three ball. Well, I would expect no in this 3 0 count, you're taking all the way. Right. See if they'll walk you. Next pitch in for a strike. And it's 3 and 1. And here it comes. On the ground to third. Throw over to Bowers. And one away in the top of the third. Now So the lineup flips over. Tommy Fan will hit next. Went down on strikes his first time through. That's downstairs and outside. One ball. Trying to back door with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. White Sox down a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. <laughs> Up the middle, terrain. Now the throw to first on the run. You're out. Two up, two down. Nicky Lopez steps to the plate for the White Sox. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand batter waits. Foul ball. That one off the bad part of the bat, and just a lazy fly ball. Terang brings it in for the third out. Down in order go the White Sox. They still trail 1 0. Back here at American Family Field, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Up now for Milwaukee, Blake Perkins. And a pitch. Ball. That one's upstairs. Ball one. And it's one and oh. Yeah. That clips the corner. Got to let that more. change up. Oh, got away with one there. And he'll take it. But doesn't want to make that mistake again. Mind, and that's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. That is not this is Bryce Terrain. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. The 0-1. 
And there's a strike. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Perkins aboard here at first with nobody out. Pickoff throw. Perkins gets back easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Here's the 0-2. And down on strikes he goes. And one out now. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off and extend that at bat. And now it's William Contreras. One oh. This one in the dirt. And the runner holds. The one oh. Uh -huh. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. That's the second out. No, oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch well, after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Now move to first. And he's back in safely. Found a way. Two outs. Now Whoa. wanted one. Kicks and fires. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Showed a willingness to now drive that out. pitch the opposite way. Out. Didn't get jumpy. Really? Didn't try to pull the ball. Oh, no, no, no. Let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Now a chance for Willie Adamas. First and second, two down. Here in the last half of the third. Ball Next one. offering is downstairs. Swings ah. through that one for strike two. One, two. Oh. Got him swinging. Brewers strand a couple, but they still lead it one nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Start of the fourth, and now it's going to be Gavin Sheets. As the lefty gets to work. No. Just missed. Sheets goes six feet five inches, 27 years old, and he's usually a first baseman, but today oh. he's the designated hitter. One ball, one strike. The 1-1. One, one. Hit in the air, left field. Yelich should have it. Puts it away for the out. And next to hit for the Sox, Andrew Vaughn. 
He's 0 for 1. Right through there for a strike. The White Sox down by a run. Top half of inning number four. Stays alive. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Kicks and deals. Ball. Two balls. Two strikes. Ground ball up the middle. Terang over to first in time. He made the pitcher earn that out after a long at bat. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. First offering is fouled off. Base hit, center field. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Now that all the young, the next to hit. The young. The shortstop takes the ball. Brown ball to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One hit, one left. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Brewers one, and the White Sox nothing. And we're back. Leading Bottom off. four. Here's the power hitting catcher, the Gary catcher. Sanchez. Gary. The right hander back to work. Swing and a pop up. Maldonado snags it, and there's one down. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Next for the Brewers, Joseph Ortiz. First pitch misses. Base is empty one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. And that's off the inside edge. Ball two. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. And man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good. It's feedback that you have everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing. One out, runner at second. And now the right fielder, Jackson Chorio, walked his first time. Swing and a foul straight back. And the pitch. Got a good eye there. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Ortiz leads off second with one gone in the inning. Two-two. In the dirt, blocked. Runner holds tight as the count moves to two and two. Man at second. 
Ripped to first. Caught. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that no, finds no, a glove, but no, you no. will get some high fives. Yeah, you know, yeah. when you make great contact, wow. you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Now, here's Jake Bowers. Fly to left his first time. In the air, right center. This is managed. Way back and gone. A massive home run. It's 3-0. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. fastball you have to live on the edges and hit your spots if you don't you'll get hit hard really good swing there patient and waited for it it was like BP all over again two outs nobody on and now Blake Perkins first ball pitch one. doesn't find the zone one ball no strike Righty delivers. Pop up here, third base side. De Young makes the play, and that'll do it. Two runs for Milwaukee on the dinger. It's now 3-0. Back here at American Family right Field. Side. And now, right Corey Jones. Corey Jones. The wind and the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these White Sox, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats. And I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They really haven't worked many deep counts or long at-bats. And that's fine if you're having a lot of success. But at this point, I think it's time to make an adjustment. One, and one and two. High in the air, out to right. And there's one down. Now the third baseman, Danny Mendick, grounded out his first time. Fly ball down the line, on his way over makes the grab on the run and a couple of quick outs now bad at the catch Martin Maldonado up to hit Maldonado that's in there that's strike one he's pitching well but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes he usually doesn't work out for success but you can never predict baseball the Brewers leading by three. And we're at the top of the fifth. In one, the dirt. Two. One and two to count. Oh, Wouldn't dude. chase that time. Two down, nobody on. That oh, one misses. And it's three and oh, two. Count. That's a good at bat right there. He was down early in that plate appearance. Works the walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. And a pop up right side, foul territory. And that's a foul ball. Maldonado leads off first with two down to the inning. Ball, and downstairs. Two 
swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And that'll do it. The White Sox leave one. Still down 3 nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and stepping in is the speedy Bryce Terang. Nastrini back to work. Edge of the zone for a strike, and it's 0-1. Action in the pen down there. Mike Soroka getting loose out there. Crochet getting cranked up as well. And a pitch. And that one pulled foul. a base hit to right and the leadoff man aboard I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0 2 count oh, too good of a pitch to hit right there you have to expand the zone keep that leadoff man off first base now the White Sox manager is out of the dugout and will make a move to the pen Nick Nestrini out of the game and as he heads off we'll step aside for a minute back with the new pitcher after this break White Sox going with a new arm, number 60. Number well, 60. they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. Back to the top of the Milwaukee order. Next to hit, William Contreras, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Fastball for a strike. Anderson ready to work. Ball. Just missed. Runner at first with no outs here. Hit hard. Base hit. Terrain. Round second on his way to third. Headed for the plate. He scores. And they lead by four. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Now it's Christian Yelich. That ball. one misses. And that is ball one. No outs. Runner on second. Yeah. That one finds the zone. And a count one and one. And another ball. Pulls that one foul. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And that's the first out. You know, the danger with the slider is leaving it out Not over sure. the heart of the plate and getting contact on it. If you're going to miss, you want to miss towards the corners, not in the middle. Right there, he does a great job with hard break at the end. He ran it inside. Very difficult to do anything when you're tied up like that as a hitter. And that one fouled off. Man at second. Line drive, and that's just foul. Ball. Outside low, now one and two. And no, misses inside. It's a good take. Right side. Oh, great stop. Over to first. Out. It's there, and that's a great play. The catcher, number 99. Gary. It's Gary that's Sanchez. Gary. Gary. 
Ball one, no strikes. Left field, way back there. Ben Intendi going back on it. Say goodbye to that one. An absolute smash to left. His seventh home run of the season. And they add on. It's 6 nothing. That's a swing that'll boost the win probability for sure. recognition early he saw exactly where that was going to be the challenge not get over anxious and come out of your swing he stayed on it and got all of it so two down here's the third baseman joseph ortiz one for two that one finds the zone that's strike one Swing and a pop-up in foul ground near the fence. And makes the grab. And that's the inning. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's now a 6 nothing ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back here in Milwaukee. All right, we go to the... The Top half base, of base. inning number Nikki. six. Here's the second Lopez. baseman, Nicky Lopez. The pitch. That oh. just misses. Ball one. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying one, to be one. too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick oh. outs. And that's too high. Fouls one off, two and two. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. Now here is Gavin Sheets. Gavin Sheets. That immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Adamas, the throw to first. Awesome play there. Two outs, base is empty. Andrew Vaughn steps to the plate for the White Sox. Slice down the right side. Two outs. One, Not one. close with that one. One ball, one strike. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. In the air right field. And that no, is that's a foul ball. The pitch. Ball and two. another ball. The Brewers up big in this one. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Okay. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Now he turns and heads for second. Not in time. He's got a double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. So much of good hitting is finding holes in the defense. That's why you're always thinking line drive into the gap. Those kinds of swings really boost your confidence. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Man in scoring position with two away. Benintendi up here. And first offering is fouled off. Oh. 
Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Now a long throw home. And he's oh, in yeah. there. And a run comes in to score. Yeah, Picks himself up an RBI. Everything was on time and fluid yeah. in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the knock. Those always feel good. And up next for Chicago, Paul DeYoung. That's through there for a strike. Benintendi off of first with two away. Breaking ball inside. One ball. And now one it's strike. even one and one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Trevor McGill up and loosening in the pen. Wilson also getting ready. At the belt and fires. The ball shortstop two. takes the ball. Ball. And that's off the inside edge. And the count's full. down the line could be extra bases here comes Ben Intendi around third he will score it's 6-2 couldn't have timed it up any yeah, better that than that right. really good job keeping that one fair down the line he let that off-speed pitch on the inside part of the plate travel just long enough stayed short and quick to square up nicely and here comes the Brewers manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Number 54 done for the afternoon. And he was a tough nut to crack. Pretty stingy from start to finish. Back with a new arm after a quick break. New pitcher on here. Trevor McGill. And he's got a nice lead to work with. So he should come in throwing strikes. Attacking these hitters. Corey Jolks steps to the plate for the White Sox. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Two outs and one in scoring position. Found off left side. Man on second, two down. That's a ball. Bounce to the left side. Foul. And foul ball. The pitch. Good Slider two. misses outside. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Yelich right there to make the grab. And that is that. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. Six, seven, eight, due in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Brewers six and the White Sox two. Bottom of the six. Up now for Milwaukee, Jackson Chorio. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. And Whoa. it's even up. And that one popped to short. De Young settles under it. Puts it away for the out. Up next to Milwaukee, the first baseman, Jay Bauer. Next for Milwaukee, 
Jake Bowers. He had a big swing back in the fourth, a two-run homer, and that helped them get the lead. And what a swing it was, Boo. Poetry in motion. And those are the type that you hardly feel when you connect with the baseball. Just so smooth, a great feeling off the bat. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. That one fouled off. Owen oh, Chu now on the ground right side. Lopez tosses He's to first. Out. Two up, two down. Center fielder, number, number 16. 16. Blake. Blake. So digging in, Blake Perkins. And the first pitch misses for ball one. 1-0. One -oh. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Vaughn drifts towards it. Corrals it. And that is that. Brewers go down quietly. They lead it 6-2. to two. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's going to be Danny Mendick. The White Sox in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. But why to kick the pitch? And first offering is fouled off. McGill, a 6'8 righty, 250 pounds, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2015. Ah! Swing and a miss, no and he ball. was fooled. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last moment. Oh, it's really difficult to pick that up. Just kind of tip your cap on that pitch. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. Now it's the White Sox catcher, Martin Maldonado. And a strike right through there. That one a triple digits. Comes up empty. The White Sox down by four here in the top half of inning number seven. Gets a piece and stays alive. And the right hander deals. Lifted in the air down the left side. And it falls. And now the lineup turns over with one away. Looked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Here's Tommy Pham. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Breaking ball inside. And that's ball one. Maldonado over at first with one away. Outside low, 2 and 0. Oh. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Ball. And another ball. And he walked him on four pitches. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging second at something base. out of the zone. Nikki. First and second one out. Now it's the second baseman, Nicky Lopez. In the air, right side. Nabs it. Now, how? 
So first and second with two outs. And next is the designated hitter, Gavin Sheets. He's been really clutch with runners in scoring position this season, so they'll have to be extra careful in this matchup. That You're one right. in triple digits. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more pitchers that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Hard hit, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. White Sox strand a couple. They still trail it here. It's six to two. Set for the last half of the seventh. Up now for Milwaukee, Bryce Terang. The pitch. This is off the play. Ball one. Activity in the bullpen. Number 49. The rookie right-hander is getting loose. Hill, the lefty, warming up as well. Left-hand hitter waits. Fastball for a strike. And the count one and one. Line drive, base hit. And that turns the lineup over. And here is William Contreras, one for three. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Two. No ball, two strikes. Move to first. Back standing. He's in there safely. Nobody out. Runner at first. Ground ball right side. That's a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. So they turn things over to one of their young arms, Garrett Crochet. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Here's Yelich at the dish. Ball, Just no. missed. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Yelich out on the play. Runner tags it second. Close play, but in there. Now, we'll see if moving up to third there pays off for him. He didn't have to tag and go, but now he can score a lot of different ways. It doesn't have to be a base hit. We'll see what happens. Here's the shortstop at the play. Willie Adamas. We just might be talking about this at bat in our postgame wrap. He's proven he can drive in runs in these spots. Grounder might be two. Over to Lopez, one. And that's two. No runs on two hits, no errors, and one left on. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Brewers six and the White Sox two. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Bryce Wilson. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing now, a great job against right-handed bats so far Number this season. They've had a lot right. of trouble squaring him up. Now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox, Leading off Andrew White Vaughn. Vaughn. The first base is number 25. Andrew Vaughn. The wind of the pitch. And that's a little bit high. And it's 1-0. Oh. Activity in the bullpen for the Brewers. Jared Koenig, a left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Oh. 
in there at the knees, and the count even one and one. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. The one one is fouled off. And the righty deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. A defensive swing right there. Some cheese on the inside part of the plate. But the hands are still stinging after that one. On the ground. Terang. Tosses to first. He's out. And that's one away as now the leadoff out. man is Let's out move. in the eighth. Andrew. Good sinker low in the zone Benny right Andrew. there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. Right through there for a strike. Bases empty, one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. No. Next offering is down low. Just oh, no. off the outside edge. It's through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And here is Paul DeYoung. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. That's Ball down one. and in. Man at first, one away. Into center. Perkins under this one. He makes the grab. And there are two down. The right fielder, number 30. Corey Jolts. Man at first. Now it's the right fielder, Corey Jolts. Oh. In there for strike one. No ball. Ben intended. Right. The runner at first with two gone. Close, but called a ball. One and one. There's a strike. No. Just misses. Now two and two. Two strikes. Chases in the dirt, slider there. Sanchez down to first. That completes the strikeout inning over. Back here at American Family Field, ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now the catcher comes up to him, Gary Sanchez. Crochet back to work. Wouldn't Ball. chase that time. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Foul ball there. The wind of the pitch. Ball two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. That misses the zone, and it's three and two. Outside, and that is ball four. 
Now the third baseman, Joseph Ortiz. And first offering is fouled off. Ripped, but it curls foul. The 0 2. Good job to fight that one off. And a pitch. Oh. And that skips in the dirt. The velocity blasted it right past him. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Chorio, batting with one down, takes a strike. That ah. one finds the zone. That's strike two. Oh, two. Ah. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Jake Bauer no, up now for no, the Brewers. He's already homered here in this one. Bauer. Fastball for a strike. Next offering in there for a strike. Oh, Tuna. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. And he deals. Oh. And ball one. him looking for the strikeout. Fastball to letters throws him for strike three. And we're back. Leading and now Danny Mendick. The third base Danny Mendick. The right-hander back to work. That's ball. off the mark. One and one oh. ball, no strike. Pop foul out of play off to the right. The one one. You and won. another ball. This one popped up. Makes the catch for the end. He's two outs away. And here's the catcher, Martin Maldonado. Ball. That misses the zone. Ball one. The Brewers leading by four here at the top of the night. Next pitch is downstairs. Yeah. That clips the corner. Two ball, one strike. Good okay. eye in that spot.
outside, and that ball is four. ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really it's patient at the play. What a game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Stepping in, the White Sox leadoff man, Tommy Pham. First pitch, just misses. Maldonado leads off first with one away. Breaking ball through there for a strike. One one. High fly ball out to center field. Perkins has this one sized up. Brings it in. Two away. The battle of the week. Second week. Nicky. Lopez. White Sox down to their final out. Nicky Lopez now at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. And a foul ball. Wilson is just one strike away one, two. in the dirt and the runner stays where he is good no, eye right I'm there <laughs> foul ball another 2 2 upcoming. And here it comes. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Kicks and fires. That one down the line and it goes just foul. Left hand batter waits. Still two and two after the foul ball. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Two-two on the way. And yeah, that's outside. Great RBI oh, spot man. here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans. And your final, 6-2. to two. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.